The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. One more day being renewed to the praise of the glory of our Lord in the divine energy and the divine health providing for us graciously to know that we have entered into the 11th month of this year taking down our tapes bowing down upon our knees and leaving behind that which has to be to the maximum glorification for Lord. If you receive him as a form of a prophet, your reward will be in the form of a prophet. If you receive him in the form of a righteous one, your reward will be in the form of a righteous one, saith our Lord in Matthew 10.41. Then how much more keenly and accurately we need to latch upon honoring our God's word to stay firm, focus in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit by the use of rebound so that at least we could learn to be honest with the fellow men because we know today's pastor teachers and evangelists are not even honest with the fellow men, how come they could be honest with God? If they would have been honest to God, they would have really given priority for those things which ought to be in the Bible. Sound exegesis. Exegiomai, our Lord explained for us in John 1.18. The only order of the pulpit, Tekna, where the people will come to learn doctrine is purely for the fact little children techna to grow to the attitude of a little children until and unless no wise you can see or you can enter because a little child will take number one priority what the parents teach and this techna should be taught by the pastor teacher who has been appointed there the importance of Bible doctrine. He cannot just compromise. He cannot just look upon those things. But rather his number one priority will be doctrine, doctrine, and doctrine alone. So that when our Lord could complete his work in the age of 35, in the age of 33 and a half, and if we are prolonging our life days for after that 33 and a half years, even we, like the Neonis cause under the age of 40, who have reached and conquered the devil, and who is capable of trampling under his feet that great devil, this Neonis cause dwells in the word of the Lord permanently. His stronghold is Bible doctrine. His fortress is Bible doctrine. And this Neonis cause man who has acquired that by reaching MGG, the remaining life of him after 33 and a half, it is no longer he who lives but Christ who lives in him. The exact life if our Lord would have been alive after 33 and a half years and if it have stayed here, it is he who is going to live, saith Apostle Paul, in me. It is no longer I but Christ who lives in me. The great simple position applicable is even today for us. By the age of 30, we need to reach the status of maturity. And by the age of 33 and a half, we should leave behind a great legendary impact. And after that, our life that we are living, it has to be a life of Christ, not we. 
but many men do not know to come to know and to understand as such many men even do not know whether this book really exists in the Bible or not like the book of Lamentations they might have even not heard about that word the believers I'm telling not about the pastors because a pastor is not enough well enough to get through with the teachings of Christ in the Gospels far less he can come to train you up in the mystery doctrine of the church age when he's training you all up in the mystery doctrine of the church age with the burden of a pastor teacher Lord God the Holy Spirit leads to him to know what is there in the Old Testament what were the failures and what it is so that we can learn from that failures and what error it could happen in the church age and we need to forsake it but since many men cannot understand the simple truth they have really become a very great apostate errors in the pulpit being in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit and learning the word of the Lord is the greatest privilege for a believer in this church or it has been kept alive in this church age of unique dispensation there is nothing greater for a man to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit there is nothing greater for a man than to execute the protocol plan of God there is nothing greater which you can think it could be great apart from the word of Christ the only thing that you reside you enjoy no greater life than the life of Christ to live on this earth no greater bond than the bond of the spirit that we can have constantly dwelling in us time is too short the responsibility laid down upon our shoulders is too big in the grace of our Lord he has given us this privilege to communicate the truth it is not our own individual will but it is the will of Lord God the Father to know upon that truth dear brethren this life is very unique this life is very great if our Lord is renewing us one more day to come to the field to learn doctrine to know about him as we meditate upon the word of the Lord it is purely because it is his plan designed for us in eternity past to serve him in that way and if you are not able to understand the simple truth then you will never understand what it is the plan of God for us Lord deals with the business of early morning waking up he doesn't go to see this to see that or to do this or to do that he wants first you to be faithfully obeying so that he can qualify you now for the calling wherewith he has called you to become a pastor teacher and the faithful intake of Bible doctrine alone can grow you up until unless you become mature enough you cannot use or you cannot come to know what gift you have in you and as you become a mature man in the word of the Lord Lord knows how to take you and use you so that you cannot say I am a man of this speech I'm a man of tampering lips or this or that but rather you would only say I obey God no excuses out of necessity we need to preach out of the need we need to tell when my Lord's word has been trampled under the feet of those men who do not know really the importance of that word how come we when we have the real bona fide gift keep quiet we cannot keep quiet but rather more than the trumpet which our Lord told we will shout and scream and tell the truth men may be happy to find out who could be the next president for USA who could be who could compete who could be the nominee but they are not able to understand it is Lord who is going to send them and a man who really fears God because USA being a client nation to God they have to understand what is the client nation status 
And that in return reflects the teachings in the pulpit. That in return tells the help is from the grace of God, not from the help of man. Likewise, Today, Christianity, out of necessity, our Lord will raise those people who are required to hold this honoring of Bible doctrine. It is not that who could be qualified to be there to teach. Lord qualifies him, provided he is having a circumcised ear to obey, to obey, to obey. Those circumcised ears which they have to obey, Lord only has to give them. And apart from that, it cannot be anything else. Many men might think it is our power to elect. Many men might think it is our power to see we can learn intellectually Bible doctrine and come and preach. No. It has to be by the divine power of Lord God the Father, Lord God the Son, and Lord God the Holy Spirit. Individually working together to their means to accomplish it. Our work is to just obey and to be ready and to be prepared to do it. And we cannot go to look anything further apart from this. So dear brethren, it is your life and which way you want to go you think. As we shall continue in the next day. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enter us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.